Welcome back. Um, our next speaker this evening is one of the most successful players in rugby league history. And due to that, I'm pretty sure he doesn't really need an introduction. He has nine Super League titles and four Challenge Cup winners medals to his name. And I'm pretty certain that at least half of this city are hoping that that success rate continues as he takes on the position of head of rugby at Hull Kingston Rovers. Ladies and gentlemen, to take us through his no white flag talk, it's Jamie Peacock. What am I supposed to say when I'm all choked up that you're okay? Right, so I'll get started now. Um, I'm going to tell you my story today about how I made it as a professional rugby league player. And I'm going to be honest straight away, okay? I wasn't that good a player when I was younger. I was fortunate to go on and captain Great Britain and win lots of trophies, and win the Challenge Cup, win play for Super League, win Super League. But I didn't have that much talent as a younger player. All right? I didn't have an innate amount of sporting talent. I'm not one of the players that you see get earmarked out at 16 years old, who go on and captain their country. Someone like Martin Johnson. Not that Martin Johnson, the Martin Johnson. <laughs> I want to talk about good attitude. What does a good attitude mean to me? So, to be a rugby league player, right, you have, you have to be very, very fit. We spend a lot of time at training being told to run certain distances by our strength and conditioning coach. It'd say, go sprint 400 metres as hard as you can. Go sprint 80 metres as hard as you can. Sprint 200 metres as hard as you can. And I reckon the toughest distance to run as hard as you possibly can is 400 metres. It said, go sprint 400 metres as hard as you can. You've got eight of those today. <coughs> we created history. I lifted the grand final trophy at Old Trafford in Manchester and we became the first side from outside the top two in the history of Super League, right, to win the Super League trophy. We created history, right? Now, as a team, okay, we were committed, right? We had loads of self-sacrifice along the way, plenty of hard work, but a turning point was, right, when we had a big obstacle in our way and we had self-doubt, we let someone positive influence us in the right way. And it allowed us to do something no other team I'd ever done before. Now that stuck with me for the rest of my playing career. At any moment, I had any self-doubt. At any moment, someone gave me some negativity. I used to think back to the letter and let someone positive influence me. And I think it's the same for everyone, every one of us. We all have moments where we're pushing ourselves. You've got to let positive people influence you in whatever you try and do. 